Have you ever wondered about the true story behind Bruce Lee's mysterious death? Jackie Chan sheds light on this mystery, offering a unique glimpse into the untold tales of martial arts' most legendary figure. He died in somebody's house. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's everybody knows. The legends collide Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. In the realm of martial arts, and cinema few names shine as brightly as Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. Yet not everyone knows the story of their incredible encounter and the profound impact it had on Chin a budding stum and destined for his o legendary status. Jackie Chan was a young and eager stuntman who found himself on the set of Enter the Dragon, the movie that would cement Bruce Lee's status. As a global superstar at the time, he was just another face in the crowd of stuntmen but his destiny changed with one single albeit accidental kick from Bruce Lee. During a particularly intense fight scene, Bruce Lee known for his precision and intensity accidentally landed a kick on Jackie. And while most would see this as a minor mishap, for Jackie Chan it became a pivotal moment in his career. Lee's immediate concern for Chan a mere stuntman in his eyes showcased a level of humility and care that was rare in the industry. This incident did more than just physically connect the two. It sparked a sense of admiration and respect in Chan for Lee. Bruce Lee was not only a martial artist, he was a pioneer, who had broken barriers blending Eastern and Western cinematic traditions. While showcasing the beauty of martial arts to the world, Chan was still finding his footing in the industry, and saw Lee as a model of the artist he aspired to become. And despite their brief time together, Jackie can absorb every lesson he could from Bruce Lee, the way that he moved his work ethic on set, and his philosophical approach to martial arts had all left alone. Lasting impression on Chan, Lee's influence would later be evident in Chan's own cinematic style, which seamlessly blended martial arts with comedic elements. Bruce Lee's death would leave a void in the martial arts community, and the film industry sparking countless theories and speculations. And Jackie Chan, like many others, was left to ponder the impact of Lee's untimely departure. Despite the mister surrounding his death, Lee's legacy lived on, inspiring generations of martial artists and filmmakers. Inspired by his international success, Jackie Chan carved his own path in the industry. He didn't only follow Lee's footsteps, though. He created a new blend of martial arts cinema that incorporated humor, breathtaking action, and a unique brand of charisma. His dedication to performing his own stunts a practice that he admired in Lee had become one of his signature traits. And even though they share limited screen time, the bond between the two formed during their encounters had a profound effect on Jackie Chan's career and philosophy. Bruce Lee's passion, dedication, and innovative spirit had driven Chan to push the boundaries of martial art cinema contributing to his global success. Jackie Chan's career with Bruce Lee. Jackie Chan's introduction to Bruce Lee was not scripted in the stars but was the result of sheer happenstance a young stuntman. At the right place at the right time, working on the set of Enter the Dragon Chan was amongst the many who were hoping to catch a glimpse of the martial arts maestro in action. But little did he know, he would soon experience much more than he had bargained for. The pivotal moment came during a complex fight scene, a choreographed ballet of fists and feet, where every move would be calculated. However, the precision of martial arts filmmaking is such that even the smallest miscalculation can lead to unexpected outcomes. Bruce Lee known for his meticulous attention to detail, and and powerful on-screen presence accidentally connected a kick directly to Jackie Chan. And this wasn't only a kick it was a strike from Bruce Lee, a man whose physical skill was legendary. The impact would send Chen reeling a stuntman unprepared for the force of a blow from one of the strongest martial artists in the world. And yet the story doesn't end there it was what followed that left a long-lasting impression on Chan. In the immediate aftermath of the stunt gone awry, Bruce Lee's reaction was not one of indifference, but a genuine concern. He would rush to Jackie Chan's side, inquiring about his well-being a gesture. That was uncommon in an industry where stuntmen were often viewed as expendable. This act of kindness and professionalism from Lee would deeply impress Chen, offering a glimpse into the character of the man behind the myth. Lee's concern would not be merely a fleeting moment. He made a point to ensure that Chan was all right, showcasing a level of empathy and respect that was quite rare. Lee understood that the strength of a man is not only in his physical abilities, but in his compassion and humanity. 
While their interaction on the set of Enter the Dragon would be brief, the incident created an invisible threat that linked Jackie Chan's destiny with Bruce Lee's legacy Chan who had admired Lee from afar, now had a personal story to share about the man who had revolutionized martial arts cinema. It was an experience that underscored the values of humility, respect, and care once that CH would carry forward in his own career. The impact of this encounter went beyond the immediate physical and emotional effects it served as a source of inspiration for Chan who had seen Lee. As a model of the martial artist and filmmaker he aspired to be, Lee's dedication to the craft, his innovative approach, and his ability to transcend cultural barriers were all qualities that Jackie Chan admired and sought to emulate. And as he made progress in his career, Jackie Chan often reflected on his experiences with Lee drawing lessons from their brief interactions and Lee's influence would become evident in Chan's approach to filmmaking. Moreover, Chan's commitment to performing his own stunts, a hallmark of his films would be in part a tribute to Bruce Lee's legacy, the mystery of Bruce Lee's death. The untimely demise of Bruce Lee in July of 1973 sent shock waves through the martial arts and film communities worldwide. A beacon of physical prowess, discipline, and cinematic innovation, Bruce Lee's sudden departure would leave a void filled with speculation, rumors, and theories. His death occurred in Hong Kong. Under circumstances that seemed ordinary upon first glance, he was at the apartment of an actress. Working on a script for an upcoming film complaints of a headache would lead him to taking a painkiller, but he never woke up from a nap that afternoon. The official cause of death would be attributed to cerebral edema swelling of the brain that had been caused by a reaction to the painkiller. However, this straightforward explanation did very little to quell the storm of speculation that would follow. Over the years, numerous theories surfaced which tried to explain the icon's premature death. Some had posited that a physical exertion and an diagnosed health issue was the culprit, while others ventured into the realm of the fantastical, suggesting foul play triad involvement or the supposed family curse. The absence of any kind of evidence and the proliferation of sensationalist media reports had only fueled speculation further. Jackie Chan had a brief but impactful interaction with Lee offered a grounded view amidst the swirl of rumors. While acknowledging the widespread speculation, Chen dismissed the more outlandish theories such as triad involvement or mystical curses as being unfounded and sensational. His perspective is one of respect and realism focusing on Lee's contributions to martial arts and film. Rather than the mystery of his death, his reflections on Lee's death highlight a common sentiment Amongst those who knew Lee or admired his work, the loss of a great talent and the enduring legacy that he left behind. Rather than dwelling on conspiracy, Chen chose to remember Lee for his groundbreaking achievements and the path that he paved for future generations in martial arts and cinema. The speculation that surrounds Lee's death has had a lasting impact not only upon his legacy, but also in how celebrity deaths are viewed and sensationalized. It serves as a cautionary tale about the power of rumor and speculation that overshadows a person's achievements. The fascination with Lee's death also underscores the deep emotional connection that fans have had with him reflecting their unwillingness to accept his sudden departure as a mere medical anomaly. In the aftermath of his death, a thorough inquest would be conducted concluding that the death was caused by an allergic reaction to the pain medication that he had taken. Despite the official explanation, though the absence of a more detailed medical history and the suddenness of the event left much room for doubt and speculation, it is this gap between the known and unknown that has kept the mystery of his death alive within the public imagination. Despite everything though the most enduring aspect is not how he died, but how he lived his philosophy of be water encapsulates his approach to martial arts and life of fluid adaptability and relentless pursuit of personal excellence. Lee's influence extends beyond his filmography and martial arts achievements touching on personal develop racial barriers and the global spread of Asian culture. The legacy lives on. Bruce Lee's passing in 1973 marked the ending of an era, but also the beginning of a legacy that transcended borders, disciplines, and generations. His influence on martial arts cinema and popular culture cannot be overstated, which transformed him from a mere celebrity into an enduring icon of strength, wisdom, and perseverance. His philosophy and approach to martial arts sparked a renaissance that had reshaped its landscape forever before Bruce Lee martial arts were largely seen.
Through the lens of tradition and formality, confined to specific styles and schools, Lee's introduction, Uji Kundo, a philosophy that emphasized the style of no style, had encouraged martial artists to break free from the confines of traditional systems while adopting a more fluid and adaptable approach to combat and self-expression. His emphasis on practicality efficiency and personal expression had inspired countless practitioners to both explore and innovate, which led to the evolution of mixed martial arts and other hybrid styles that dominate today's martial arts scene in cinema. Lee's impact was revolutionary, he was amongst the first to bring authentic martial arts to Hollywood, showcasing the beauty, complexity, and dynamism of these disciplines on the big screen more than just a fighter. He was a charismatic actor who had brought intensity and depth to his roles, breaking stereotypes while challenging the industry's portrayal of Asian characters. His films, like Enter the Dragon and Fist of Fury, not only achieved blockbuster status, but also paved the way for future generations of stars and filmmakers, which included Jackie Chan Jet Li and Donnie Yin, just to name a few. Beyond his physical prowess and cinematic achievements, Lee's philosophical teachings left a great mark on fans and followers. His writings and interviews full of wisdom, drawn from a variety of Eastern and Western sources, speak to the universe quest for self-discovery, personal excellence, and harmony phrases like be water have transcended their martial arts context to inspire individuals in diverse fields, from athletes to entrepreneurs to artists and activists embodying the adaptability and resilience needed to overcome challenge. Lee's persona remains a staple in popular culture evidenced by the countless documentaries, biopics and tributes that continue to emerge. Video games, comic books and merchandise all bear his likeness introducing new generations to his legacy the Bruce Lee Foundation established in his name, continues to promote his philosophies through educational and social initiatives ensuring that his teachings on martial arts personal development and mutual respect to among different cultures endure. His approach to physical conditioning and training was ahead of its time incorporating elements from bodybuilding boxing and various martial arts in order to create comprehensive workout routines that emphasize flexibility, strength, and endurance today. His training methods are studied and emulated by fitness enthusiasts worldwide, attesting to his role as a pioneer in holistic physical development. Perhaps the most profound aspect of Lee's legacy is in his philosophical contribution to the understanding of martial arts, not only as a physical discipline, but as a way of life. His teachings on the importance of personal expression adaptability and the integration of mind, body, and spirit continue continue to influence not only martial artists, but individuals who seek a balanced and purposeful life. The influence on popular culture. Bruce Lee's influence permeates across various facets of popular culture around the globe. His iconic status, charismatic persona, and philosophical insights have all inspired an array of cultural expressions from fashion and music to literature and digital media. Bruce Lee's distinctive style, characterized by the iconic yellow tracksuit and nunchucks in hand, has become a symbol of coolness. And rebellion fashion brands have drawn inspiration from his attire, launching collections that pay homage to Lee's unique aesthetic musicians and lyricists from various genres have also referenced Lee in their work using his name man persona to evoke themes of strength mastery and resilience hip-hop artists in particular have celebrated his influence drawing parallels between his fight against oppression and the struggles depicted in their music. Lee's philosophy of fluidity and adaptability resonates with the creative process of music making making him a frequent subject. In lyrical narratives, Bruce Lee's presence in video games and digital media is huge characters inspired by him with his unmistakable fighting style and attire have become staples in fighting game franchises. Beyond mere appearances, they often imbibed his martial arts philosophy, inviting players to embody his principles of adaptability and direct action. The digital realm also serves as a platform for virtual communities of fans and practitioners who share a passion for his teachings and legacy. Graphic novels and comic books have frequently featured Bruce Lee as a character blending facts with fiction to explore the mythical aspects of his life. These narratives will often focus on his philosophies, martial arts skill and cultural impact, and additionally numerous biographies have dissected his life, his work and the profound wisdom contained in his writings and sayings making his insights accessible to a more broad audience.
Beyond his own films, Bruce Lee's influence on cinema and television continues to be felt in the portrayal of martial arts and Asian characters. Filmmakers and actors cite him as a major influence, striving to emulate his physicality, charisma, and depth in their work. Documentaries and biopics further explore his life, offering new generations a glimpse into the man behind the legend. His impact is also evident in the increased representation and complexity of Asian characters in Western media, which challenges stereotypes while promoting diversity. Perhaps most significantly, he revolutionized how martial arts are perceived and practiced worldwide. His concept of Jet Kunda inspired countless people to view martial arts as a personal journey of discovery rather than a mere physical combat dojos and training centers around the world teaches techniques and philosophies underscoring his belief in the importance of self-expression through martial arts. Debunking myths about Bruce Lee's death The death of Bruce Lee has been shrouded in mystery and speculation which has given rise to numerous myths and conspiracy theories. And amongst the swirl of rumors, it's crucial to separate fact from fiction to honor the legacy of the martial arts legend. One of the most enduring myths is that Bruce Lee was the victim of a curse supposedly passed down through his family. This theory suggests that supernatural forces were at play targeting Lee and later on his son Brandon Lee. However, through investigations and credible sources, no evidence has been found to support the existence of such a curse. The idea is more likely a dramatic narrative used to explain the tragic and untimely deaths of Bruce and Brandon Lee rather than a reflection of reality. Another popular theory says that Lee was killed by the triads because he had refused to pay them protection money or because of his efforts to teach Westerners Chinese martial arts. And while it is true that the triads were active in Hong Kong's film industry during Lee's time, there is no concrete evidence linking them to his death. Investigations conducted at the time and subsequent inquiries have not supported the theory of triad involvement. Jackie Chen, familiar with the Hong Kong film industry's workings, has also dismissed this theory as being unfounded that he upset at the triads. As ma mafia organization. No. No, 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 no. Okay, that wasn't true. To dim or death touch theory would suggest that Bruce Lee was killed by a delayed reaction to a secret martial arts strike. This myth is rooted in the mystique of martial arts lore. Rather than in fact, medical reports indicate that Leah died of cerebral edema caused by an allergic reaction to a painkiller and not by any kind of physical strike. This theory, while a staple of martial arts fiction, has no basis in reality. Some have even speculated that his death was the result of self-experimentation with drugs or unorthodox training methods that went wrong. Bruce Lee was known for his rigorous training routines and interest in enhancing his physical performance, but there's no evidence to suggest that he was engaging in risky experimental practices that would lead to his death. The autopsy report and medical examinations pointed to an allergic reaction and not a botched experiment as the cause. Jackie Chan has been outspoken about Bruce Lee with respect and admiration emphasizing in the importance of focusing on his contributions to martial arts and cinema rather than the speculative theories that surround his death. Chance encourages fans and admirers to celebrate his legacy and achievements rather than to dwell on the mysteries of his demise. And as of now the official autopsy report and medical experts say that his death would be caused by an allergic reaction to a painkiller, which he had taken for a headache. The reaction caused cerebral edema leading to his untimely death. This result was reached after thorough medical examinations and has been supported by subsequent reviews of the case. Bruce Lee passed away on July the 20th of 1973 at the age of 32. His passing would shock the world and he left behind a legacy of martial arts mastery and cinematic influence. What do you think about Bruce Lee's death? Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to comment.